All right, guys, good morning. Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here having a cup of coffee in the uh, Freedom Office. And as I was reviewing the comments from the compact sniper rifle that we're going to be using in the upcoming uh, Sniper's Unknown Challenge, uh, I read a comment by a gentleman named Casey773. Casey, you're absolutely right. Casey asked if I would do a video on what if. What if Biden wins? Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I've kind of been pulling off of this whole thing, this idea. I've been retracting back from making comments on the political stuff. I really should be making comments on all this stuff because it is important. The right to free speech, our Second Amendment. Why do you think those are one and two? Because they are important, but they're only important to people who love freedom. The rest of these individuals, say, like Joe Biden, AOC, Antifa, Oh, believe it or not, Antifa is just an idea. I just found that out the other day when I was watching the debate. Now, I was going to do a review or a video on the debate, but to be perfectly honest with you, I felt so sorry for Trump because he really didn't know how to respond to the, the left's lies. And I mean, honestly, that's all, he, all, all Biden was doing was regurgitating the lies that was being repeated by the DNC. And that's it. And the media. So, honestly, if it was me and I was... Trump, I would have probably walked over there and throat punched that son of a gun. So anyway, moving forward, let's talk about this. Um, Joe Biden, what if he wins? Uh, first of all, let's just watch this little clip from uh, Anderson Cooper, because this is exactly what Joe Biden says. He doesn't care about the Second Amendment. This is his first reaction to a question. Here we go. Stand by. So to, to, to gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're going to come for my guns. Bingo. You're right if you have an assault weapon. The fact of the matter is they should be illegal, period. So there, that's his first response. So what is actually going to happen if he wins? And we've done videos in the past on Joe Biden's gun control plan. There's so many things out there. First of all, if you have what they call an assault weapon, which is like, I need that. This guy right here, this in some circles, is considered the, the body of an assault weapon, and actually it is by the ATF. This is not an assault weapon, but a sporting rifle is what I like to call it. But this is with the embodiment of where things start. So the first thing he wants you to do is if you have one of these things, he wants to implement a rule where you have to register this guy with the ATF as an assault weapon. Well, we all know what registration leads to, and there's no denying that registration leads to what they call confiscation because right now we're seeing the same thing happen in Canada. Canada, uh, Justin Trudeau single-handedly overnight signed a, an executive order labeling like 700 different firearms as illegal to own and you've got like two years to turn them in. Now, here's the bad part about them. Now, I am pro-police, okay? I'm pro-law. I am. I'm pro-law for those individuals who follow our Constitution and don't deviate and don't try to interpret it. It is what it is. Shall not be infringed. But there's going to be some individuals who are tasked with an order at the point of the government, if Joe Biden wins this whole thing, to come to your house if you don't register these things and retrieve them involuntarily. Oh, by the way, if you don't pay your $200 tax stamp, at least that's I can figure if he's wanting us to register our so-called aid, uh, what do you call these things, assault weapons with the ATF uh, under the uh, NFA, <laughs> that uh, you, oh, by the way, you can re you can sell these back to the government because I guess the government feels like they've owned, of course, the DNC, the Democrats, feel like they own everything, which is why they don't have a problem telling you, well, we'll buy it back from you. Guys, they can't afford what I have available to buy back. And I sure as shit can't afford to put a $200 tax stamp on everything I own. So the registration thing, what does that lead to? And we're going to get into this part of the other videos, but I want to clarify something. So why do they want you to register these things? Okay. And there's another little deal that he has in there is that he wants you at the point of time that you either sell, you have to have go through a transfer, uh, or if you lose this thing, you have to report it lost or stolen or sold or have a transfer slip within 48 hours of it being taken out of there. Why is that? Well, I'll tell you why that is. Because if you are found with that 
firearm. Say for instance, let's just go back. If you go on that boating accident we all talk about, we're going to go on canoe trip with all our firearms and we lose it. And then all of a sudden, well, we report those as lost or stolen. Well, if you're found with that firearm down the road, well, guess what? You are in possession of an unlawfully possessed or owned firearm because it's not registered in your name and it was reported lost or stolen. Therefore, it's out there. So you're in possession of an illegal firearm. But it's jail time as far as he's concerned. Joe Biden doesn't care about your Second Amendment. And if you are a 2A proponent, well, guys, that's it. Ah, the whole thing. Get a shotgun. Yeah, I've got a shotgun. I've got this guy right here. And you know what the big difference is? It's got this big old tube on here. Well, what he wants you to do is he's going to have you take that off so you can run three rounds in your shotgun. Why does anybody need 15 to 30 rounds to hunt deer? Well, they evidently they forgot about the 2A was not designed to hunt deer. Okay, so to the story, let's talk about this. If, if it were me, and these are the items that I would be concentrating on right now. Well, number one is going to be magazines. Magazines are definitely in the hunt for what he wants to ban. They call them high capacity magazines. I call them normal capacity magazines. These guys right here, this is just a little 15 round magazine mag that I just happen to have sitting on my desk. Well, in the event that you have a firearm and you want to possibly, I guess you're going to have to register your magazines as well. I don't know if you're going to have to put a $200 tax stamp on those, but with Joe Biden, who the hell knows? And you know that Kamala Harris is right behind him with every one of those things because she's a big old Californian. All right, so let's get to it. We got magazines. I would definitely invest in magazines the best you can at this point right now. KB32Tech.com. I've got a page up for magazines right there. PSA's got a pretty good deal on those things. Last I saw, they were available with free shipping. All right, so another thing. What would, what else would I be looking at? Well, uh, probably too late in the game for you, but lowers. I would go ahead and buy as many lowers as I possibly could. Joe Biden will not be the president all the time. And who knows what could happen down the line. And this is only if he wins. I'm not saying Joe Biden's going to win. But what I'm saying is that I would pick up a number of these things, just sit them in the closet, let them go. Uh, my local gun store had these things on, uh, available for 60 bucks a piece. So I picked up a, a, a few, just a few, you know, enough to get me through because I don't have enough. But <laughs> in any way... Um, magazines. Then what I would pick up, lower parts kits. Lower parts kits are probably one of the best things that you can have. Just have a couple of them laying around or the blown uh, parts kits, you know, or the blowout or the oops kits, whatever. Whatever you think that could possibly be, uh, let's just say, something that could go wrong that you may have problems finding. So that's one of the things that I would definitely go with. Other parts, like, I don't know, these guys right here, uh, gas tubes, uh, barrels, bolt carriers, bolts, things of that nature. Uh, triggers hardly go by bad, but I would definitely invest in a couple of extra triggers. We're running out of time, though. We're less than a month away from the election, which is a terrifying thought to me. Now, I have it in the back of my mind, and my wife and I do, too, that this is going to be the most incredible blowout in history. And we've never seen a, a president work so hard to keep our rights, with exception of the bump stocks and a couple other items and the red flags. Uh, I think people are pushing the red flags much more than he is, but he just didn't say no, unfortunately. And a lot of people are pissed about that. But Joe Biden wants red flags even more than this guy. He wants to make it a national law where there's anyone who has a thought that can come and drag your happy ass out of your home because we want to protect you and we want to protect the children. It's all about the children. I'm absolutely so sick and tired of hearing about it. So those are my thoughts. And thanks, Casey, for uh, sending me that little message. It gave me a good idea. And again, guys, I mean, used to be on the, the, all the, you know, the news and everything about everything that goes on. But to be perfectly honest with you, the whole world's going to shit. Uh, the, the, the riots, uh, all the things that are going on, this world is just feeding down into a tube of, and a funnel to a cesspool. And I don't want to be that part. I'm going to be one of those guys that's going to scratch my way to the top. But in the event that this jackass does win and you have to register and you've got, uh, 
a whole bunch of ARs. My suggestion would be, because there's people like me, I'm, I'm a competitor, I have to go out in public. Uh, so what is going to have to happen? I'm going to take one of my competition rifles, that lower setup, and I'm going to make that my one single AR-15 that I have. And that way, if somebody asks, yeah, it's registered. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want to know about it? Bingo. It should be illegal. So think about that. And then if they wanted to confiscate it, well, then they're just going to get the one little lower that I did register. And that's it at the end of the day. But these guys are tyrants. And that's what the Second Amendment was built for. So I could ramble on, but let me know what your thoughts are down below. I thought this would be a great topic. We're going to issue this thing out early this morning. Uh, with that being said, guys, always end it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, and people who support our Constitution. And Because there will come a day if that jackass decides that he wants to go and involuntarily confiscate weapons from people, there will be a day where our law enforcement officers are going to have to reach back and do some soul searching to figure out exactly what that Second Amendment means. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd like to big a big shout out to the guys on the Patreon. Thank you so much. Uh, those funds go to support that website as well as uh, buy some of this reloading stuff that I need for this competition. And if you haven't already checked out kb32tech.com, we got some cool stuff over there. Uh, just a regurgitation of a lot of things we have on Instagram as well as the uh, YouTube channel. That's it. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Happy Monday.